Hi everyone, good morning. Good morning. Um, <laughs> I, uh, as Susan said, I'm Sarah Yates and I am part of the team at Relay Foods. Uh, I don't know how many show of hands have heard of Relay Foods out here. Okay, good, that's exciting. That means I'm doing my job pretty well. Um, so as most of you know then, uh, Relay Foods is an online market for sustainable food and groceries. Um, and we've been here in Charlottesville since about 2009, and really a lot of the success that we've had to date has been based on really strong partnerships with producers and farmers here in the Charlottesville area, um, and for that we're really grateful. And I'm excited to spend just a few minutes today talking to you about Relay's work with local farmers and food artisans, and specifically to talk a little bit about the importance of storytelling and brand details to the success of the producers that Relay um, works with in our marketplace. And I really would encourage you guys to go check out our website after my talk, simply because I had a little slide presentation um, that, you know, uh, the visual is very important to Relay. Um, Sarah, but, we can get there now. Oh, really? Oh, great. I'll let do that one with Oh, great. Okay, thank you. Um, so, first off, to start off, Relay is, um, as I said, we're an online grocer. And that's kind of a new and different thing for local foods because so often local foods we associate with the immediacy of the farmer's market and going around and smelling and touching and tasting our food. And we at Relay are all about that. We love local food. We love the opportunity for people to go to the farmer's market. But we really see ourselves as an opportunity for people to um, expand beyond the farmer's market and really grow and reach additional audiences beyond uh, what people can touch in, um, in that Saturday or Wednesday market. Um, and we really want to create um, sort of a synergy with uh, local food and farmers markets in the sense that if those are all about immediacy, what Relay is really trying to be about is education and um, creating that second piece for people to really engage with local food on several different levels. Um, and what we've really found is, uh, unsurprisingly, if we're going to be successful, Relay can't just be exactly like a grocery store online. We really have to shift customers' mindsets and think about what are customers trying to do when they're in the online space um, and what are they trying to do when they're in a brick and mortar grocery store? How are those things different? And how can we really help people discover and enjoy food through this online process? Um, and what we've really found is that for us to do that, we have to work really closely together with our producers and really help them tell their stories. Because as I said, it's kind of all about education, creating trust with our consumers, and um, really then helping them to discover and enjoy the food that they can, um, they can find through Relay. So I'm gonna ask you guys to think with me for a second about your experience when you're walking into the doors of a grocery store. Think about the experience that you would expect, or a farmer's market, if that's your <laughs> if that's your way of shopping as well. So you know you walk through and you're smelling the strawberries, or you're touching the greens, or you know you're having a sip of coffee from uh, the person who is uh, handing out free samples. And then think about your experience when you're shopping someplace like Amazon.com, or when you're shopping online. What is that experience like? What are you looking for? What Relay has really found and what lots and lots of studies in this burgeoning online area are finding is that when people are online, they're really going and looking for ways to educate themselves. They're looking for ways to differentiate between different options that they have. And even if they're planning to go on to the store or to the farmer's market, they're trying to find information before they go do that so that they can really you know, make the best decision even if they're making that final purchase in the real world. Um, so for Relay, we've tried to find ways, as I've said, to really leverage that and foster engagement and learning and trust. Um, so for us at Relay, as I've said <laughs> now several times, that all starts with storytelling. Our goal at Relay is really to be a, um, a brand-centric and a producer-centric platform. Um, we really want to be less about our story as a company and more about the stories of all the different people who we work with. Um, and there are, so, there are several different ways that we have started moving in that direction and really trying to help tell the stories of the producers. Um, if you click over on the left-hand side where it says, I brand or category, 
<laughs> and then scroll down a little bit. More and more. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so click on, say, Anna B's gluten free down under brands. So what you can see there is on our current website, there's, you get a little picture of this woman named Anna B's gluten free, and she just comes up because she speaks alphabetically. But, um, and you see a little story about her and why she's passionate about what it is that she's doing um, and how she got started. And then of course, if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see all the different products that she sells. And right now we're actually in a process of re-photographing most of our catalog. So you can see that beautiful picture of her multi-grain loaf on the left. Um, by the end of uh, the second quarter of this year, we're hoping to have really beautiful photography for all the local products we sell. And that's really another way that we tell the stories of the producers that we work with, is just by presenting what they have to sell in the same kind of caring way that they would present it themselves and really help customers understand what that is. So as I said, you know, right now we're working with short blurbs on our websites, photography, featuring different vendors on our blogs and really telling our, their stories in depth in that way and even offering samples of their products sometimes if they're willing to work with us. And then another really specific way that we do this um, is that each week one of our um, key products that some of you who know about Relay may have heard of is our Bounty Basket, which is this collection of fantastic local produce that helps introduce people to the local um, farmers in our area. And even though everybody on my team wants to kill me because we have to create a new piece of collateral every week, um, we always feature the names of the specific farms where that produce is coming from. And to me, that's really important because it's not just, again, creating a relay story, but it's creating a story about the brands and helping people connect specifically with you know, radical roots or planted or diversified or down branch produce or anywhere else that we're getting our farms. And again, that's really important so that ultimately our goal is when somebody comes back, they don't come back to relay looking for kale or for a steak. They come back looking for a Wolf Creek Farm steak or they come back looking for, you know, planted or diversified kale or something like that. Um, I'm going to speed through because I think I'm getting a little lengthy without my deck. But, um, so basically, another way that we've found that's really successful for producers to tell their story is to really focus on the small details. One of the things that I really love about shopping from Relay is actually the magic of when I get my order and a producer has just written thanks on the label that they packaged their food in. Or I still remember a producer who we no longer are working with, but when, when I first started at Relay, I would get Swiss chard wrapped up like it was a bouquet of flowers. And just small little details like that that don't take the producer much longer are great ways for a customer who is you know, touching that product for the first time and really engaging with that producer for the first time um, to really create a one-to-one -one relationship with the brand when they don't get to shake the farmer's hand at the farmer's market. Um, and then, let's see, I'm gonna skip that. And so basically, um, to kind of recap what I've said so far, um, Relay is really focused on this thing um, that we call digital food experience and narrative. And we, um, we were really proud when an industry group actually pointed out that we were really good at that um, and named us as a leader in that. And really, this is, they were kind of creating a study to focus on you know, who are the best online retailers. And this is one of the ways that they ranked people, was how are they creating a story? How are they engaging people um, with the stories of the people that they're working with? Um, and what we've found over time is that when people do have that connection to a producer's story, as I said, they come back, they look for that specific producer instead of one person's name. And in addition, even people, we've done studies of consumers who start shopping with us. And when they start shopping, maybe they'll buy from one or two of the producers we feature. And over time, we see that they actually, through engaging with people and through engaging with the stories that we provide, they actually start buying more local products. So when there are better stories being told and when they really understand who's creating the food that they um, are buying, they actually start purchasing more and more of that local food and switching from the you know, generic pasta sauce to the happy tomato tomato sauce because they're really charmed by the story of someone who puts so much passion into their product. Um, now I'll just spend a couple of seconds on the very near future for Relay. So you're looking at our current, current website right now. Um, in the next few months, uh, Relay is also in a process of evolution of developing our brand, just like I'm sure most of you are. 
And um, as I said, this core value of telling the stories and being a, a, a producer-centric um, company is something that we're continuing to push and evolve. And in a couple of months, we're going to um, release a new website and really focus even further on telling these stories. And one of the ways we're going to do that is small, but it's a start um, when, when you want to go visit, say, Perry Hill Produce, which is a farm that we work with, um, instead of going to RelayFoods.com and then having some long link, you'll just go to RelayFoods.com slash Perry Hill Produce. And each of our producers will have that kind of direct link to their customers. And ultimately, our goal is that, as I was mentioning at the beginning, sometimes people want to just do research and then go to the farmer's market and learn more. And we're all about even trying to support that kind of um, education and information, even if it's ultimately not to our benefit as a company, we do want to just foster the ability for people to tell stories and connect with their consumers. So we'll have these web, these web pages and these direct links that actually allow producers to have a little bit more control over telling their own stories and connecting with um, connecting with their customers. And I would, you know, we would love to actually hear from any of our producers and any potential producers about how. Um, about how they would like to connect with consumers and how they would like to be able to tell their stories. Um, you know, this is still an evolving process for us as well. Um, but as I said, it's really exciting um, to, to have this opportunity to kind of create a place where, say you're a producer and you don't actually have a website, our goal would be that this would be the place where you would send your producer or your consumers because you're so excited to sort of show what you have to offer through this space. Um, so with that, um, I will say, you know, I would love to hear from anyone and um, thanks for this opportunity to talk to all of you um, and thanks for the work that you're doing to make our lo local food system amazing. It's a pleasure to work with everyone. So.